Okay, this is a follow-up to my uh, calories for electricity film uh, where I use a, an exercise bike and car alternator to generate electricity to charge a bank of batteries. Uh, what I've done is I've replaced the car alternator with a permanent magnet motor, uh, which you see here. Uh, this is a 130 volt DC permanent magnet motor rated at uh, 18 amps. Um, this came out of a uh, treadmill. And uh, what we hook it up to is our batteries. We're charging a bank of batteries. And I got a set of um, meters here. I have a voltmeter to measure my uh, charge voltage and a current meter to measure my charge current. So what I have here is a 12 volt charge controller. Uh, the charge controller uh, determines whether your batteries are charged or not and when they are charged uh, we'll switch a relay which you see here and we'll switch it to a diversion load uh, which is this uh, resistor right here. This is a 250 watt resistor uh, as my diversion load. Um, I may or may not have to increase the, the power rating on this. Maybe hook a, a few of these up in parallel. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, but it's a pretty simple setup. Um, in this wire right here I have a blocking diode um, right here. This is 6 amps, I may have to increase that as well. And this blocks the power for com coming back from my batteries so my generate my uh, my uh, treadmill motor here doesn't turn while I'm hooked up to the batteries. And this of course is going to all the way over to my bank of batteries over here and back up to my inverter and my transfer switch where I can send the power anywhere in this house uh, through any of the circuits and, uh, <clears throat> and that's pretty much my setup now we'll get on top of this bike and start pedaling now the good thing about this setup here this uh, treadmill motor is I don't need an energizer circuit anymore so every stroke of this these pedals here generates electricity and uh, it's much more efficient I don't have to send some of the energy back to an energizer circuit for the alternator so, so I can pedal it's kind of hard to see but it's much harder to pedal this Treadmill, treadmill motor than the alternator. Right now, <clears throat> I'm doing about six amps. That's probably around uh, 80, 80 watts or so, 90 watts, and all that energy is be being sent right to the batteries. It's a much tougher workout than the uh, Dolphinator was, but it works out pretty well. Now a little bit about this treadmill motor. Um, again, uh, this is a 130 volt DC uh, permanent magnet motor uh, at 6700 RPM. Um, it's a lot of RPM for uh, this little setup because uh, it's such a high voltage and high RPM when you do lower RPM you generate lower voltage and uh, that's exactly what I want for this setup I want to generate at least 12 volts uh, to charge 12 volt batteries and uh, so this is why you want the um, high 
voltage and high RPM so you at lower RPM you generate lower voltage you can see that I'm slowly pedaling here uh, my voltage is pretty close to 15 volts my current's about 2 amps the harder I can get about 4 amps which I'm doing now right now I'm still charging the batteries but battery should be pretty much full and this should go from green to red indicating that I'm um, now setting my power to my diversion load Maximum charge capacity on the, on the battery. It's now diverting the load, diverting the uh, energy to this resistor. You can see, so putting out around 14 and a half volts, 4 amps. It's kind of a seamless transfer.